for this heavyweight fight. So more than 10 years apart, these two fighters. Some differences in height and reach. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC. Yes. There you go, first one, you ready? Are you ready? Let's here go. we go. All right, tied to Ivasa, back to work here tonight. This is a powerful heavyweight southpaw. He's got power in both hands, and he's just a guy who always loved to fight. Thankfully, he's able to do it professionally, and the results in the UFC have been outstanding to this point in time. Joe, your thoughts on what we might see here? Early? Daniel Cormier is a complete mixed martial arts fighter, but... He is one of the very best wrestlers to ever compete in mixed martial arts. Come on, guys. Let's move it. Let's move it. He lands the head kick. Overhand attempt. Now it's blocked by two Ivasa. He got tagged there. Look how light he is on his feet, too. Well, he's got a strong jab. Miss with it there, though, Joe. <laughs> Lands to the body. Just over three minutes to go. And he's looking for that left. Oh, blocks the shot. Nice defense there, huge block. While the body was wide open, his opponent took advantage. Kick to the body, lands flush. He's gonna have to make some adjustments here moving forward. Tags him. That one hurt. Went for the inside leg kick. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Really missed with that right hand. Oh, well-timed overhand there by DC. And he lands another overhand here. He's actually landed several in the round, really starting to find a home for it with regularity. The trademark inside leg kick there by Cormier. Kick lands. Well, why fix what's not broken? Why not go right back to that overhand here again? Tui Vasa gets caught by the inside leg kick. 30 seconds now to go in round one. Big left punch. Oh, good combination. Oh. Big shot. And what a round. Oh, what a way to end the round. He got stunned by a huge shot there just before you heard the horn so he gets saved by the bell the question is though what type of condition will he be in when he gets up off that stool 60 seconds here to recover the onus is on his corner to keep his head in the foot let's see it again and let's take a look at that from a different camera Second round here. Look for him to go on the attack early in this round to try to pick up where he left off in the last round. His opponent was dazed and in big trouble when that round ended. Daniel Cormier is a former Olympic wrestler, a world-class athlete, and an incredibly determined fighter. He has ridiculous hand speed, outstanding skills in all areas, and the mind of a champion. Total strikes. Well, the overhand has really been there for him all night. Let's see if he goes right back to it here, Joe. Oh, double jab. That oh. one appeared to stun him. Oh, he's getting hit. Oh. Fishing. Oh. 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 He's hit. Oh. Oh, my goodness.
good footwork here, moving to the right, staying out of the power range of that big right hand. Cormier gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Oh! That hurt him. We have just reached the midway point of the fight. So a much different approach from it looked oh. like it did stun him a little bit. He's got to be careful here. He's clearly in trouble. Oh, he blocked that offense, Joe. Well, the yeah, looks a little wobbly on his feet. Oh, you heard him. Nice takedown. ground and pound KO. Yeah, Joe, safe to say he wasn't stalling or looking for a referee stand-up. He was looking to pound his opponent's head through the canvas, and he nearly did so with some of those hammer fists, man. He wasn't trying to score. He was trying to put an exclamation point on a most dominant performance here tonight, and he certainly did that as he ends the fight by knocking. Here we see it again. Boom! And then he's out. And there he is after a massive knockout here tonight. Near perfect execution and a seminal moment for him here in the Octagon tonight. Now we go inside the Octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. The stop this contest at three minutes, 13 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, Daniel D.C. Well, what else can you say about the UFC light heavyweight champion Daniel Cormier and still approaching 40 years old and DC still finding a way to get it done. Very opportunistic when it comes to his submission game. Picks his spots well in the striking realm as well. It is going to take a Herculean effort from the fellow 205ers to DC.